hosting a very robust and vibrant uh, person in terms of, you know, matters, athletics. He's a consultant and a very able sports journalist in the name of Dennis Okeo. Deno, good to see you. How are you doing, Ban? Uh, good. <laughs> you are <laughs> keeping well? Very well. Very hey, Jana Usiku, Ban. Hey, it looks like Kenyans, they are not... Uh, sleeping whenever Diamond League is happening lately. What, what is this attributed to? You no, know, the the performance of uh, uh, Ferdinand Omanyala and uh, you coupled with uh, with Faith Chipiagon uh, has um, attracted huge huge following towards Diamond League. Yeah, if you, you compare now, probably if you compare the viewership this uh, this season and last year last season, Kenyans are following more of Diamond League than last season. Because initially Diamond League was low key, Kenyans were not paying much attention like they are doing this particular season. Yeah, because um, you know most people love uh, middle and uh, short distance, unlike uh, long distance, which you have, you have been uh, dominant over the years. Mm -hmm. So the entry, the entry of uh, of Omanyala and the performance of uh, Faith Kipiagon has really enticed the, the entire country to start following Diamond League. How is this possible, Deno? In a week's time, you break 1,500 records, and uh, a few days later, again, another record in 5,000. How is this it's possible? Exactly a one week, a seven-day uh, period. Yeah. But if you just uh, look closely how Faith has been performing, just way, take it way back to, to Beat Ghost in 2010. Yes. Yeah. She's someone who... At Everyone could, those who people who are involved in athletics could tell that she's uh, destined for greatness in yeah. athletics. Look at um, the way she ran um, the 1500. After winning, um, after winning Tokyo, Tokyo uh, gold, yes. defending his, her title, yeah. Yeah, her, her next move was a world championship, which she finally, finally to break, uh, uh, was able to break. And going to going to uh, uh, seven days later, breaking the the, the f uh, f uh, five thousand meter race, and the most interesting part was that uh, she was racing against um, Gide, who was a uh, who was who had the the record, Gide from Ethiopia, and again the two belong to one camp. Yeah, they are all managed by by um, Globo. Yes, yes, he was Hamens, a guy from um, uh, Netherlands. So there are people who know each other very well. Gide last year spent most of her entire training season in, in, in Kaptagat. And they were just uh, staying in the same camp. So they understand yeah, each they other, under the familiarity exactly, exactly. is there between the two. Yes. And you and I have seen this lady, Faith Kipegon Chepnitich, rising through the ranks from a tender age yeah. during this World Cross Country Championships at Uhuru Gardens, at Nyai National Stadium, to what she's doing right now. Come on, what can this be attributed to? Discipline, it's, focus? It's a, it's a discipline. Or is it just hard work? It's discipline, of course, coupled by, by, by hard work and uh, good management be, behind her. Patrick Sang, who is a current coach, uh, and she, she moved to Kaptagat in 2019. Since then, she has been winning every, every single race. And again, one camp, one management, having one, uh, two, now three world records. Yeah, it, it shows the... the the dedication this uh, this camp have, yeah, led by Patrick Sang. Patrick Sang himself is, a, is a, an accomplished uh, athlete. She, he, actually, Patrick Sang was the first Kenyan to win gold at uh, Kasarani Stadium, yes. 1989, yes, yes. 87. Yes. Well, uh, that's uh, during the All African Games. Yes, and he went ahead and won uh, silver at uh, Barcelona, uh, uh, Barcelona Olympics. Yes, then again won another silver. In Stuttgart, yes. 1993. Yes. So it's so someone she's going through the right the, hand. Exactly. That's my point. And uh, you know, Ferdinand Omanyala, uh, you know, far, uh, fastest African 100 meters runner, and you know, reigning champion in Commonwealth yeah. uh, competition that happened a few months ago last year. Also, yeah. you know, coming second in last night's Diamond League and preparing very well for Budapest. Should you know? Her, his competitors get scared. <laughs> yeah, actually, you you could see the, the the body language of um, of the two athletes. Yes, that's um, uh, Noah uh, Noah Lins and, yes, yes. and, and and him after the race. You, you could you, you could tell that uh, they respected each other. Yes, Omanyala breaking sub ten 
finally at the, the Diamond League is a huge, huge uh, 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 performance by him. Yes. I was talking to him this morning and he was like, man, I finally break uh, the, the 10, uh, 10, meter bar uh, 10 uh, second barrier in yes. Diamond League. Yes. It showed that uh, what is ahead of him, yes. definitely anyone who follows sprint is now in the bracket of the finalist in, uh, at the World Championship. He will definitely make it the, to that uh, final. Running against, you know, heavyweights in uh, Marcel Jacobs, who finished, I think, distant fifth. Se seventh. Uh, distant seventh. Yes. And uh, Jamaican, Umo yeah. Manjala keeps telling us every day that he's his mentor. And uh, they all trailed behind, you know, the Kenyan man. Whom at some point, everyone thought that probably is winning. I don't know. What Yo, actually, <laughs> he started, his start from the block was a bit slow. Because at, at around uh, five meters, he was last. Yes. Then he recovered. He's very good uh, after 20 meters. He led throughout uh, out until 90, 95 uh, meters. That's when um, uh, Lyles uh, took over. Yes. Yeah. And finally won the race. So generally it means that, you know, the athletics in the country is, you know, booming worldwide despite the... <laughs> problem of doping which is ravaging global world mm. uh, with Kenya also included in the countries that uh, are getting affected massively by this monster. Sports wise athletics yeah. is doing us proud. It's, uh, it's actually, it's actually uh, uh, uniting the entire country. Look at um, how all Kenyans yeah, were behind, uh, uh, behind the Manya yes. and, and Faith during this, the, the last two Diamond League meetings. It shows the impact. It shows that um, Kenyans can really get united by sport. I was speaking to someone this particular morning and he's saying that we should be worried in steeplechase, something that we've been dominating before. Because as we speak right now, I think Kenya is fading. <laughs> yeah, can, yeah. We, can we restore the lost yeah. glory in steeplechase, which used to be you know, dominated by the likes of Ezekiel Kemboi, Consensus is Kipruto? A, is a, yeah, true. You're right. Yeah. It's a, a huge concern especially at uh, the Federation of Athletes Kenya, led by the, the ABO president, Jack Tue. Yes. Their concern at the level of um, the, the latest performance is going down by every season. Yes. Uh, personally, I was... Um, I knew, I knew uh, Grima was good, but I never anticipated him breaking uh, uh, the world <laughs> record. I rather, I rather g g the record would have gone to... to, to to Morocco, yes. rather than uh, to our neighbors, Ethiopia. It, it, will, it will take um, time to, to, to recover because most, again, middle, uh, middle and long distance, they tend to go more onto road races where there's more money. And it's actually money, money matters that um, I've, I've been able to, 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 to lower the performance in, in, in uh, steeplechase. Yeah. So, 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 which means we need to do a lot by putting uh, in place a lot of structures and strategies to revive our heroic performance in steeplechase. Yes, um, especially now that uh, we are going to World Championship, I believe that athletes Kenya should have uh, select a few, few, few the best uh, steeplechase runners yes. and put them in a camp, probably for two months. Yeah, it's actually two months to, 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 the, to the World Championship. Yes. If they can be placed in a, in, a, in, a, in a camp, in a camp and concentrate uh, only on, on super chairs, yes. I think probably we can get a, 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 a medal at the World Championship. But at the moment, I can tell you, we won't get, be able to get a, a medal at the World Championship in August. How are our youngsters looking like? Those who said to take over from... Uh, Ezekiel Kemboi consensus as Kipruto. Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a quite a number of uh, young guys uh, coming into probably from an under 20 category. But again, I, I've told you that uh, money matters in uh, long distance, especially starting at uh, 3,000 super chairs. They rather go to road race, which are many and have more returns oh. than, uh, than wait for the Amon League, which starts in, uh, in, in May and end in August. There's so many. Uh, um, um, uh, road races globally, so they rather go to look for money, yeah, rather than wait for the uh, the Mo league series to make money. And uh, you know, in terms of uh, fighting doping scourge, we saw yesterday President William Ruto at State House during the launch of Talanta Hela, reiterating government's commitment of ensuring that this monster is something of the past. That you know, having met uh, World Athletics President Sebko 
the in, same yeah. message was passed across. I don't know. From your own perspective, having been in athletics for a yeah. while, I don't know. Can we fight yes. it and bring it to an yes. end? Yes, the, 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 the apparatus that have been put together uh, by the government uh, agencies, I think probably, yeah, with the more money funds coming into to ADAC to fight this uh, scold, I think um, more testing will mean that more people will be, will be caught and at the end we'll have a clean spot. There is, you know, <laughs> that narrative going around saying that, you know, there is a likelihood even Kenyan heavyweight athletes are involved. It's only that, you know, they haven't been exposed. Though that's an unsubstantiated claim. Do you, do you tend to agree with that stereotype? You know, the problem, you know, I mean, uh, it's a competition and there are different camps. There's Adidas camp, now there's um, ASIC camp, there's Nike camps. Yeah, all these people, they are fighting to one, 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 one um, they, are, they are competing to, to one agenda. Yes. Yeah, being a global uh, superstar. So every, the propaganda will be thrown around. So you oh. never really know. So the sometimes truth. the propaganda is about to tarnish opponents' e ex exactly. reputation. Ex exactly, yeah. How is Russia doing in terms of fighting the scourge? They were banned at some point. They are still out, right? Russia, um, at the moment, they are, they are competing in, in individually. And uh, it's a status that um, World Athletics that uh, uh, stayed, uh, stayed in put. Probably, maybe in the next two years, they'll be allowed to compete as a, as a country. But I know they get a lot of testing, a lot of, um, of um, education is... Um, it's being undertaken there. Sensitization programs, yes, most of e them. Yes, exactly. So yesterday's performance by our Kenyan athletes, uh, led by uh, uh, Faith Kipiegon Chepungetich, just coming in the wake of Kipkeino Classic, which took place in the country, I think, two weeks ago. And I saw you were involved in organizing for uh, pitch side interviews for yeah. uh, superstars. And uh, are we getting to Diamond League as well? Because there is that push that, you know, Kenya can be hosting Friday night athletics. <laughs> yeah, the country, the athletes Kenya, was, they already applied for the, for for the for the event to be uh, upgraded to Diamond League, Diamond League status. Others also feel that uh, we can have a double. They have still have Continental Tour, have Diamond League, probably put uh, the uh, Continental Tour in Eldoret, then uh, Nairobi to host Diamond League. That's I mean, nice. Kenya, Kenya, Kenya is a is a is a is a powerhouse when, when it comes to sports. Very, I think this month there's a, another another world rally is happening yeah, in this country. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. 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 The, the the government want to market Kenya around sports. They feel it's easier to to market the country through through sports. That's what they do. And saying that, do you also try to advocate for KTB Kenya Tourism Board to use Kenyan sports scene? as a tourism destination center. You remember that noise that was made when Naomi Campbell <laughs> was picked to advertise Kenya overseas. And when we have the likes of Eliud Kipchoge, uh, uh, Victor Wanyama, uh, you know. Yeah, it's, it's quite cheap to market the country through sports rather than putting um, uh, multi-billion adverts on, on uh, global TV stations. I mean, the focus just should be on the on the sport. I, I, I'm happy that uh, the government have realized that and they br uh, brought in uh, Talanta Hela, which some quarters are still uh, not un really understanding it. But I believe that um, those involved and uh, those uh, uh, been, those who have been mandated to to to, ca to to carry out the the initiative, they know what they are doing. So, uh, overall, going forward, the future looks bright for the sports. Kenyan athletes, sports generally. Generally sports, yes. And uh, now, let's talk about, you know, the upcoming World Athletics Championship set for Budapest. You know, Kenya is known for performing very well at the global stage in international championships, Tokyo Olympics, Commonwealth Games in, was it in Birmingham? Birmingham, yeah. And now Budapest, uh, knocking the doors. Mm. How are the preparations so far? Yeah, the... Uh, if you follow the, the, the Athletes Kenya weekend meet, meet yes. you could see that a huge, huge number of, uh, of athletes are coming in as part of the preparation. And in two weeks' time, that's uh, 20, uh, June 22nd to 24th, there will be national championship at, at Nyao Stadium. I believe the, 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 the attendance will be huge. And actually, the likes of Omanyala have um, um, put in their calendar and put, uh, 
put it out there, outside there. Yes. There's a national championship. It's one of the events they're look, is looking forward to. Uh, the preparation towards it, I think, is good. You know, unlike other sporting disciplines, uh, like, would I use football really? Or probably rugby, there has been the problem of transition. Whenever the heavyweights are retiring and exiting the scene, there is a problem of, you know, their voids being left, being filled. But I think in athletics, uh, things have been smooth because David Rudisha left 800 meters. And, and now there is have Emmanuel Wanyonyi. Wanyonyi is coming in. And it's, Wanyonyi is very strong in the last 50 meters. Look at his, uh, uh, last night, his position at the 50 meters and at the, at the finish line. Yes. He's very good. And, and he's, 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 uh, he's, uh, he's getting, uh, getting um, good support from uh, Janeth, Jepkoske, who, uh, who is coaching him. Yeah. And other races as well. Javelin will yet to get someone like Julius Yego. Uh, <sighs> Javelin will take a while, especially that um, you can't train in, in uh, there's no facilities. Let's say if you are a javelin thrower, for you to have a facility, you have to come to Nairobi. Coming to Nairobi, you know the hustle in Nairobi. Yes. You have to maybe prob probably have someone to stay with, or rather, you, they, they rather uh, just not, not, not participate, is the lack of facilities. Lack of facilities. Yes. But in general, your overall assessment regarding state of the game, athletics, and overall sports in the country. Ah, it's good. Look at the, the performance of uh, Kevin Kiptoum. People are saying, you know, um, now, now Elwood should retire, he's aging. And now these are youngsters coming in. That was in London? Yeah, he won London. And he has been included in the team, the marathon team. To, so, the, so, so the future is still bright, despite yes. the exit of the likes of... Yes, Elwood, other people are coming. We have got replacements. Yes. Wow. Dennis Okeo, a robust sports journalist and athletics consultant speaking this particular afternoon joining us to speak about athletics in the country and state of the game going forward ahead of World Athletics Championship set for Budapest. Kenya is preparing for the championship and looking forward to replicate the glittering show that we've always witnessed in the past international events. Thank you, Deno, for coming through. It's a pleasure having you on board. Good, bro. Thank you. Of course, yeah. Touchline still continues. We're taking a short break and in not too long, of course, we'll be hosting Chemo himself, uh, Captain James Tuma, Kefa President, alongside Terry Uko, who have just been elected this particular morning through an opposed Kefa elections, and they continue with the mission of representing welfare and interest of former and current footballers. Don't go away, stay tuned, it's the touchline.